Hello everyone and welcome to our recap of the third round of Tata Steel 2022. Quite an eventful uh, round and actually well, uh, quite interesting, quite interesting game. We have a sole leader, Vidit, which won a really exciting game. I, I think amazing defense in this game against Dubov. Uh, Carlsen ended his game um, in a reasonably peaceful way. Yeah, reasonably peaceful game against Doda. Nothing, nothing dramatic. Um, there, Esipenko beat Karyakin. We will see critical position where Karyakin, I don't know, took an extreme gambling approach at some moment, it seemed like. Uh, uh, Rapport won his second game in a row with Black, and after losing to Doda, he's back with two points. Caruana and Shankled ended in a draw so okay van Froist won uh, if you remember yesterday he lost a strange position right it was just draw he won today his game against uh, uh, the young indian prodigy so beat it with two and a half points let's see this table we have magnus rapport doda Stepenko, and by first with two okay the tournament is just warming up okay I want to look at our main game. We will look at the strange moment in Karyakin game where I think he basically lost the game and then little nice tactic that I will let you try and figure out in uh, um, which game it was. I forgot. In Rapport game. Okay, so let's see Vidit game. Okay. All right. The Italian opening. All right. Okay, knight a3. I mean, according to my database, I think this this was never played before. But this position, Giri had several games, and even uh, Vidit, a few months ago, uh, had a game with the black pieces against Adiban. Uh, a game that Vidit uh, won with the black pieces. So, obviously, I, I think Dubov could have expected that this would be on the board, and I, he played knight a3 quite fast. Never uh, seen this move. Knight bd2, the typical move. Oh, it take seems logical. Queen is seven. Okay, and here knight b8. Now, this idea is a known idea from the Briar variation in the Ray Lopez. I mean, many times the bishop goes back. Sorry, the knight goes back, so the bishop can go to b7. Um, yeah, I'm not so certain about it here. Like, my taste, I would, I think just castle and bishop e6. I think black, black is very reasonable here, uh, this way or the other. I guess, I guess this spin was a bit bothering Vidit, but I don't know. To me, just uh, optically, probably for certain okay move, but I don't know. Looks somewhat awkward. All right d4 knight bd7 yeah rook b1 now i'm not certain this was necessary from dubov's side maybe more logical is rook e1 and okay it's not going to be that easy for black to fully develop i mean white has such ideas for example i'll show you one yeah one dangerous idea this is no joke right with this pin oh, this is serious business this can be serious business okay take take i think white's better there but I, i'm not certain again this knight b8 knight d7 not my cup of tea and as far as dubov played rook b1 uh, i think simply rook e1 feel, feels more to the point all right but dubov is not uh, running away from big complications that occurred here okay Queen c2. Okay, now it was Vidit's turn to push it. Right? I'll, I'll use the word push it. f5. I mean, definitely capture and stuff like that has to be considered. I mean, okay, complicated. I don't know. Some capture, some big, sacri big, big complications are possible. It feels black should be okay here. Uh, unless there is some big, big, big time tactic, uh, which I'm not certain. But either way, this f5, 
looks very 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 committal move like super duper and for the next move i think many of the moves were quite forced take take okay so bishop d3 is a really decisive threat if white gets to play it white just gonna win i i would say this i'm not certain about knight b8 by Vidic, and i'm not certain about f5 but the rest of the game i think Vidic just played unbelievable i mean dubov also played really great there were two moments where i think one dubov uh, maybe had some pressure and allowed it to slip into a draw and then he blundered oh i'm gonna show that to you but Vidic, oh man really defended this one awesome okay take uh, again this cannot be allowed all right f5 is the target knight uh, see i mean pretty much all the moves here played by black are only move but dubov is serious serious about it okay so the king is really in the center really weak scary big time scary but black want to go castle and the knight on c5 is what holding everything the knight on c5 is what holding everything so dubov move really awesome capture like i mean okay he spent like what 10 minutes on that and then vidit spent 11 minutes 11 minutes 11 minutes on the move okay i mean capturing this is just not working bishop b5 I mean, okay, white white just has a really huge pressure here, and the material is almost even, right? So, I mean, one of those pawns is falling next. No, this this nothing to see here, right? I mean, such a strong attack and not really being down that much material, pretty much nothing. C six, yeah, but this is also not working because, okay, like for example, if rook e five check check is is a big move yeah uh, it's just just not working just not working here so but with it keeping it super cool like oh my gosh my, if, if i look at a game someone plays this it really feels awful but played super cool look f6 best move of course best move and okay here it was dubov that played this queen b1 quite fast i mean i don't know three four minutes of thinking he has 25 minutes okay both of them do not have much time 30 seconds increment but rook b5 okay i, I mean simply simply deadly threat here white has many deadly threats black has one move one move and okay, I mean, this position looks extremely dangerous. Probably okay for black, but really, really, really dangerous. Okay, this stuff. I I believe this is the way for Dubov to try and pre put pressure. I mean, I, not the sacrifice, but Rook B5, Queen B1. Okay, this is this is actually a draw. And again, I, I have to give it to Vidit. He just played top move, one after the other. I mean, like no joke, just one after the other. A a any any wrong step, game over. For example, here, take, check. Only move, of course, not incredibly complicated, but still, before it was way more complicated. Rookie five game game over. I mean, okay this nothing to see nothing to see and the same story here check check and a piece up is enough for white so it's crucial to evacuate this square give check yeah it's this is maybe not so difficult but again you have not so much time move 25 a long time to time control okay so this is a draw and actually here I was really surprised, really surprised that Dubov lost. Okay, check, check. 
Yeah, I mean, he didn't have much time, but I mean, look, when I look at this position, okay, maybe maybe just doing too much, too many puzzle rushes. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I'm like big into puzzle rush. It's uh, once once I used to be into Pac-Man, but puzzle rush is Pac-Man involving tiny bit of chess. So this queen c8, right? And I mean, of course, the here, okay, check, 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 pre-move, right? Puzzle rush, pre-move. Bang, 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 bang. All right. So that this means that black has to go back and, okay, draw. Draw. I mean, for someone as strong as Dubov, uh, yeah, I think I think you have to see that, right? I mean, the rook cannot go anywhere because the bishop is hanging. If white can keep the bishop, no problem. If being an exchange down, but the king is here, but nah. So this was really shocking, right? I mean, if not queen c8, you resign. I mean, I don't know. Uh, he played f3, but yeah, I mean, maybe he just overlooked something. You know, but again. All right, I'm not giving advice to Dubov. He's like one of the very, very best in the world. He was like, ha you know, half a step from being the world blitz champion, right? Um, probably, maybe should have, but so I'm not giving him blitz advice. But yeah, this feels just not not okay for him. Okay, that's just over. So I will say this: it was a Vidit defended unbelievably. I mean, uh, believe me, I didn't show you all the lines, right? I wanted to keep it, the uh, you know, the general frame, the general feeling of the game and not to go way, way too deep. But really defended unbelievable. I would say that F5 was wow. Maybe maybe too aggressive, but maybe, maybe okay. Knight B8 to be determined, but overall really great game by both players i mean dubov rook take b7 and uh, rookie one second great game that was decided by uh, uh, by this blunder okay i want to show you the other uh, positions from the other two decisive game one of them strange decision by karyakin that uh, you know allowed the young russian to win the game and a tiny not too complicated but cool combination by raput that you are going to try and think. All right, so let's see, first of all, Karyakin game. All right, so we have passed forward to move 31st of this game, and Esipenko was pressuring the entire game. Like, I mean, okay, he was really putting pressure uh, um, the entire game. I, I mean, it, I think it was between slight advantage, maybe at some point was maybe tiny more than slight advantage. Okay, even this position, it, of course, of course, very nice to be, to be white. I mean, the pawn is weak, the c6 pawn, the a4 pawn can be weak, f7 pawn depends what and how will be, but okay, I mean, positionally c6 and a4 are weak and white pieces look great. Okay, white is of course better here, comfortably better, but I mean, rookie seven is the move and the game is on. And I don't know if Karyakin, usually, I mean, one of the greatest defenders. I mean, we remember some heroic, unbelievable defending game played by him in the World Cup that he won, like, throughout his history. But maybe here something was different in his thinking because he played rook b8, which seems more like desperation, right? He spent five minutes out of nine and a half approximately that he had but yeah i mean this seems like this person it looks a bit dangerous but not really yeah rookie two is a decent move i mean bishop d3 might have been even a simpler approach right something like that and because of the g3 square yeah there's not there's not much to to see here i mean white is going to win those pawns and the king and you name it everything so yeah that was a simpler approach but okay the way that Sipenko played is i don't know just very 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 simple and good okay so black is stuck so what do you do okay you bring the king you bring the king you bring the king right for this position you don't even need yermo for every russian schoolboy knows you just bring the king and okay one idea is important here and here Karyakin resigned because, okay, this is coming. 
this bishop e4 is is absolutely the crucial move so yeah i i would say i think this rook b8 is not a typical not a typical karyaki in defenses we've seen him pull some miracles defenses and some tough defenses this one was not this and not there okay one last position a puzzle for you i just thought it was a little well, nice puzzle nice position to mention so this is from rapport game was interesting sicilian against grandelius that i don't know played maybe too creative and uh, okay rapport after losing won two games i told you doda and rapport are my two interesting games to see this entire tournament i want to see how they're gonna fare all right let's see our last position all right so we had this sicilian game that rapport i mean pretty much outplayed uh, grandelius in this game and black to play rook h3 all right i mean checkmate checkmate is a no joke is a no joke threat i mean the game is winning however you want to look at that but queen e1 was played by grandelius and okay why don't you if you want pause pause this position the, the video look at it what would you play what do you think black should play here all right i assume that you are either back or either said okay well just show us we don't have power to think either way okay queen c3 is checkmate right so let's make white queen move or be or overload work too much rook h1 i don't know just a little you know our basic puzzles they are working for not world champions not the world top grandmasters but also sometimes for the world best players so rapport played rook h1 i mean of course this is just checkmate basic basic removal of the guard nice little combination all right take take and resign okay so we have vidit as the sole leader playing good chess playing really good chess so far uh, um okay again we will be smarter in three four rounds to see how the tournament go i will mention giri that made a draw with mamedeov and it looked like he just wanted to 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 stop uh relax and you know after not not easy game yesterday so we'll see how he's gonna do all right many more rounds and we will be there with our uh, um after the round analysis bye for now